Leo, hi and welcome to your reading. This is for Sandman and Rising Leo. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. If you're new, welcome and thanks for stopping by. Coral Tree Tarot here. These are timeless and general love tarot readings. So only take what resonates, Leo. And let's jump right into it and see what's happening for you in love and relationships. Leo, Sandman and Rising. Please show me the energies that I need to see, Spirit. Please show me the energies. Sun, Moon and Rising, Leo. Leo, Sun, Moon and Rising, Love. Leo, Love. Relationships, Leo. Leo, people. Beautiful Leo. Love and relationships. What's happening, Leo? What's happening, Leo? Leo, what's happening, Love? All right, we are ready. Okay, going to leave that, and I'll start with this. What's happening? What is the person bringing? What's what's the energy, Leo? So what's Leo? Or Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What's this person coming with? What is they come? What are they coming with? What are the energies they're bringing? What is this is happening? What's happening? Show me, Leo. This, and I'll take the bottom of the deck as well. Okay. So let's try to decode all these messages. We've got boundaries, makeups, breaking and breakups, makeups, excuse me. Um, we've got quality time and Saudaji, I believe. Very beautiful energy. This person, Leo, knows that you are the missing part, the missing piece in their life. They recognize that um, you are someone that they have been looking for all their life. Now, for some of you, you may have had a recent breakup with this person, but this person really wants to fix this connection. It doesn't have to be breakup for all of you. Remember, this is a collective reading. Um, so for some of you, yes, it you have had a breakup with this person. For others of you, just some challenges, but this person wants to overcome this. This person wants to fix this connection. This person wants to mend this and get back together. They want to spend um, quality time, and I feel this is the way this person manifests their love for you. Um, and this is the uh, love language, in other words. This person does put an effort to, to spend time, quality time with you. But there are also some challenging energies here, Leo. Um, I feel this person does feel the needs for for boundaries for some you know for drawing clear lines and boundaries in this connection which i feel will only help uh, re-establish this relationship if um if that's your wish if that's your will and choice um this person definitely wants to get back together wants to mend this connection this is this beautiful energy i'm not sure if i showed it to you Um, and this is a beautiful oracle. This is a broken plate, and in Japanese tradition, um, you you um, you mend your um, let's say caps or plates that has that became broken with the use of gold. There is a whole art connected to it. Um, in Japanese culture, you can look it up, and what essentially this is, uh, in a result, when you mend this um, broken pottery, piece of pottery, it actually brings a better value. It also leaves a um, memory of what has happened, and I feel this is a beautiful way of saying that this person recognizes that things may have been difficult between you challenging they recognize you know that they may have effed up and this 
tells me that this person really wants to mend this connection and actually they trust that they can build on these challenges they can build this connection with you to be a stronger one because in in a sense this piece has got a higher value uh, now being mended with the use of gold um, you can look it up that's a traditional Japanese um, um, method now we also have robotic um, I feel someone has become here uh, a little bit um, cold in how they express love and I feel what else I'm getting is that this connection at the moment is just happening over the internet as well you may not be in touch with this person um, so yes let's jump to your tarot they want to mend this they want to build on these experiences they feel that um, They, 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 they want a quality time with you and I feel they really want a little bit of warmth um, as well, I'll put it this way, a bit more sort of um, a different way of expressing love um, with the emphasis on more um, sensual, more uh, authentic, more vulnerable way rather than the sort of cold robotic but also the message here is that this, this connection is look we've got judgment, this is about reconciliation for many of you this person wants it really really okay let me open all the other two of cups, what a beautiful energy ten of ones in the near future three of swords, well we know that, that this we know that um, we know a few things already we know that this is a strong uh, uh, reading here about reconciliation and getting back together this person really wants that to happen and because of that you know this energy is felt across uh, on both sides your side and, and this person's side is three of swords and, and they this is here in this reading okay they feel heartbroken um, whatever happened between you two the two of cups in the position of the past really makes me feel that this person is recognizing that this connection is a mutual love and it's a soul bond it's a soul connection and they want to fight for it they want to fix this mend this relationship um, I feel they are exhausted like in the next couple of weeks you, you should definitely um, see and feel and you know this energy ten of wands it, you could feel it this way that um, it's really unbearable to be um, away from you this person finds it unbearable to be away from you it's going to be very hard okay my camera is heating up so the quality of the video may have changed sorry about that Leo okay please show me why is the ten of wands what I also want to say um, the ten is end of a cycle number ten right it's like the wheel of fortune so I feel in the next three to four weeks you are going to see a shift why 
don't want to get back together. It, it's just unbearable to, to, to be without you. Ace of Pentacles is clarifying here. The Ten of Wands. So, um, Leo, strong energy of reconciliation. This person's made a choice already. Um, tell me more about the judgment for Aries. They've made a choice. They want to mend this connection. Look, for some of you, um, for some of you, you are in a committed relationship in, with this person. You have been. For others of you, um, this person wants commitment. This is such an important relationship for this person. We have the saudaji or saudaj. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. That's in Portuguese, I believe. You are the missing piece, and they know it, Leo. Okay. Um, and that's why the decision to fix this, to mend this, to um, get back together. Leo. These two. Just the top one. Conjunction union. One more. One more, please, for Leo. One more. This came first. I saw it first. <laughs> look at that. I knew I saw this. You know why? Look. Seventh house in astrology deals with one to one relationships. This connection, this relationship involves partnership. For some of you, you are married to this person. For others of you, this is what's what's brewing here. What's what's this connection all about? What's what what may be possible in the near future once you uh, and your person are able to uh, mend this connection, get back together, union. I mean, it speaks for itself. It's, it's all about this reading. They want to get back together. This is the relationship card. You could be dealing with Cancer as well. Scorpio energy. Libra. Um, Aries, Leo, Sag and Cancer. Leo, thank you for your time. Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave me a comment if this resonates. That's all that I have for you today and um, take care and I'll speak to you soon. Goodbye for now.